Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. If you're new to my channel, I grow cut flowers in zone 5A in Northwest Iowa. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the dahlias I'm growing for this year. So in the past month or two, I have really been busy um, researching and ordering the new varieties of dahlias that I'm going to be growing for this year. Um, last year, I had a pretty successful year with dahlias. I had a few favorite varieties. I had one patch that got shaded out by some zinnias, so it didn't produce as well as it could have, but I still got a lot of blooms out of it. My other patch produced amazingly, and I had a lot of dahlias that I used throughout the summer and into fall. But this year, I have ordered, um, I've placed various orders, and I have really tried to research what dahlias um, do best, especially for cut flower growers. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. So in years past when I ordered dahlias, I would go onto some websites and just look at the pictures and I would order what I think was pretty, um, what colors I liked. I didn't really pay attention a lot of times to the height of the plant, um, the size of the flower, was it a prolific bloomer, all of those things that are pretty important when you're growing for cut flowers. When you're growing dahlias in your garden, some of that doesn't seem to matter, but when you're growing to sell cut flowers, you want to make sure that you have good bloom sizes and definitely plants that produce a lot of blooms because that's the most important thing you want as many blooms as possible to sell to your clients so this year I really tried to pay attention and I specifically ordered varieties that I knew other cut flower growers were growing. I would do research by um, reading online articles. I would look at flower farmer Instagrams, posts they did featuring dahlia varieties. And then I would go to the different websites and read about these plants. And if it said um, heavy producer, lot of blooms, prolific bloomer, I would add it to my list. So the varieties that I ordered this year um, I think are all going to be really, really great for my cut flower bouquets. So I just wanna go through all of these orders with you. I'm gonna tell you the different flower farms that I ordered from, and I will put pictures up on the screen so you can see exactly what these varieties look like. Also, before we get into it, I want to apologize if the sound is a little bit echoey. Um, my lapel mic, I spilled coffee on it, so it currently is not working. I've ordered another one, so I'm just using my on-camera mic today. So if it sounds echoey, that's the reason. Anyway, so the first order I want to share with you is from a company called Gray Girl Farms. And I follow her on Instagram, and she opened up a Dahlia Tuber sale. Um, you could register, and the first hundred um, people that registered, or the first hundred orders, got to order um, her Dahlia varieties at wholesale, more bulk pricing. And so these varieties, I was able to purchase between four and six dollars a tuber, which is a really great price, and I got five of each variety. Um, so the first one is Sea Addle. This one, I did not specifically read that it was a prolific bloomer, but I had one plant of this growing out in my garden last year, and it was my favorite dahlia. So regardless of whether it just blooms like crazy, I had to have it in again in my garden, and I need more. Um, the next one was Boom Boom White, which is just a really nice white variety. Then I ordered Natalie G, Julio, Bacara, Caitlin's Joy, which I know is a really popular one to grow for cut flowers, Sylvia, Cornell, which is another one of the most popular ones to grow, and then Cafe Olay. Believe it or not, I have never grown Cafe Olay before. Um, Cafe Olay is a dinner plate size dahlia. I'm not, actually, I think that's the only dinner plate um, size dahlia I'm growing this year in my garden. I don't grow a lot of them because they're just so hard to work into bouquets, but I really wanted to grow Cafe Olay this year. So I got five plants of that. Another one that I have grown in the past, which I'm not growing this year, is Kelvin Floodlight. That is a really pretty yellow one. Um, you'll notice as I go through these, if you look these up and research them, a lot of them are the ball type dahlia or the decorative type dahlia. I like to have blooms that are uh, maybe three, four, five, even six inches. I feel like those work well for me to work into bouquets. So I don't have a lot of the dinner plate and I don't have a lot of the pom-pom style dahlia. 
Okay, so the next order was my friend Jake. He owns that Facebook group, Wholesale for the Small Scale Grower. He offered a dahlia sale. I got five of each variety of these from him. I just got two varieties. Um, the first one is Genova, and then the second one is Joey Winnie. I feel like all the Joeys, um, there's different ones. I don't, you'll see some in some of my other orders. I feel like those are always on the list for really good bloomers. Um, so I got Genova and Joey Winnie from Jake. Okay, so the next order I placed was from Triple Wren Farms. If you follow Cut Flower Farms on Instagram, you probably follow them. They're very popular. She has beautiful pictures. I ordered two different tubers from her. The first one was Foxy Lady, and then the second one was AC White Rabbit. And I'm really excited for both of those. Now this I did not get um, like wholesale pricing and probably all the orders from here on out I did not, but I wanted to order one tuber of a lot of these varieties just to get a start with them in my garden. And then next year I'll divide the tubers get more plants, I can um, you know, do cuttings, root them, and increase my stock that way. Okay, so the next order I place is from Delameter Farms, and this order was for three types of dahlias. I got one tuber of brown sugar. I already have some brown sugar tubers. Um, a couple of them looked a little bit iffy, I thought, and so I just wanted to make sure that I had that in my garden for this year, so I just got one. Then I got three tubers of Linda's Baby, which is always an amazing one to grow. And then I got two tubers of Wine Eyed Jill, which will be a brand new one to me. And I love the peachy pink color of this one. Okay, my next order was from a flower farm called Petals in Bloom. And I got five different varieties from them. The first one is Crichton Honey, which I have been trying to get for two years. And I feel like every time I go to a website, it's always sold out or when a Dahlia sale opens, I don't get there in time. So I'm really excited to be able to have that one this year. Um, the next one I got was Coralie. Then I got Blizzard, which is a really pretty bright, uh, bright white one. Then I got Bracken Palomino and a la mode. Okay, my next order is placed from Fleur Farm and I got five varieties in this order. Again, one tuber of each variety. I got one tuber of Diva. I already have some tubers of Diva. It was one of my favorites last year. In fact, I have one under my grow lights right now that I'm hoping to get some cuttings off of. But this one was a pretty decent price, so I thought, why not just get one more? Uh, the next one is Caitlin's Joy again. Then I got Joey Martina, Joey Morella, and Joey Nikki. Okay, so the next order I got, it says, um, there's not a company listed on this invoice that I printed out. Um, it's from Craig Bell. It says Craig Blooms but I purchased four different varieties from Craig. The first one is Sweet Natalie, one of my favorites that I grew last year, so I ordered an additional plant of that. Then I got another Genova. I got Golden Scepter and Peaches and Cream. I finally got my hands on a Peaches and Cream. That is another one that I feel like was always sold out when I went to get them on a Dahlia Tuber sale or they were super expensive. To be honest, this one was a little more than I should have paid, but I really wanted it in my garden this year. So I am super excited to grow that one. And the last Dahlia Tuber order that I placed was from a company called Stone Crop Farm. I purchased three different varieties from them. The first one is Marn or Marin. I'm not sure how to say that, it's M-A-A-R-N. I had about three or four plants of this in my garden last year. I absolutely loved it. It was probably the dahlia that I used most, so I had to have more. So I purchased um, that variety. I got a couple tubers of Suncrest, which is a new one to me, but I just loved the intense shading on this variety. And then the third one that I purchased from Stonecrop Farm is Ferncliff Copper. 
Okay, so that does it for my 2023 Dahlia Tuber orders. I am really excited to get these started. Of course, none of these tubers have actually arrived yet. They probably will start arriving in, I would say, maybe March or April, and then I will just store them in a, in a cool, dry space until I'm ready to plant them out in the beds in my garden but I am really excited for my dahlia season. I think I finally have the perfect spot in my garden to grow them this year. I also am going to be trying to grow some in my hoop house, which will be really fun and hopefully will eliminate a bunch of the bug pressure. And I will make sure to keep you guys updated on all of the progress when I plant these, how they're growing, um, everything. I think it's gonna be a really exciting year. So I hope you guys are having a really good day and we'll see you soon.